Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Jessica Clemens, and this is a trailer breakdown for the upcoming video game Marvel Rivals, a superhero team-based PvP shooter. This game looks like an exciting new entry for the action game genre, bringing new techniques and gameplay mechanics with an exciting visual style drawn from Marvel IP. We're gonna go through this trailer frame by frame to point out some of the hidden Easter eggs there and the details you might have missed. And a big thanks to Marvel Rivals for sponsoring this video today. Let's hop into that trailer and check it out. You'll need a top-notch team to win this one. Pick your hero. Get ready. The trailer opens as we zoom down the Bifrost. We pull back to reveal a majestic city with that classic Asgardian style we've come to know, but this isn't Asgard. As you can see in the background, this city is right at the base of the Yggdrasil world tree of Norse mythology. Yggdrasil recently played a big role in the Marvel Studios Loki series. The story of Marvel Rivals is separate from the timelines that we've seen in Marvel Studio projects or Marvel comics, but the game contains a ton of authentic Marvel IP in its character and map design. What we're seeing here is a new location created for the game called Yggdrasil and is a playable map in the game. Next, we get a look at some of the playable characters you'll have access to in this game, along with the weapons that they're bringing into battle. On one side, we have Loki with a scepter, Ilyana Rasputin, aka Magic with her soul sword, and Namor with his trident. Now, next to Namor is a character some of you might not be familiar with. This is Luna Snow, a character first created for the video game Marvel Future Fight. She has ice powers as well as the ability to heal. She's also a K-pop singer. She's like Dazzler, a hero, and a music superstar. Then, of course, we have Groot with his big old timber fist and rocket raccoon sporting the largest gun you could find. We pan over to Doctor Strange, who opens a portal for Black Panther, Spider-Man, Iron Man, and Bruce Banner to hop through. Also in the mix in the mech spider suit is Penny Parker, who you might recall from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. They all strike a badass action pose in the sky as the voiceover says, Pick your hero. Get ready. Go! Right from the jump, we know this game is going to be about some of our favorite Marvel heroes and villains battling it out. From what I found on the Marvel Rivals official website game info page, in the storyline for this game, two timelines become entangled thanks to the work of Doctor Doom. A Doom on one timeline, as well as a Doom on the 2099 timeline, collided in the time stream entanglement. Each side blames the other for a mess and wants to be the one who winds up in control, so I guess we just have to fight about it. But which version of Doom will come out on top? Well, I guess that's up to us to find out. Vashanti Strange is here. I'm Hulk. Smash it. It's nano time. I hope Friday got that on video. We jump into battle and get a good look at some gameplay and the level design for Yggdrasil. Doctor Strange announces his presence referring to the Book of Ashanti. Bruce Banner, Black Panther, Iron Man, Penny Parker, and Spider-Man all zoom by. The level design really invokes the Asgardian feel. And based on the green banners and some of the murals in the background, I think Loki rules over Yggdrasil. He's burdened with glorious purpose after all. We see Bruce Hulk out, which honestly, I'd want to be in Hulk form too if I was battling all these people. Strange runs point, throwing up a shield to deflect Loki's attack from above so Loki switches to blasting Hulk with his scepter. Hulk lines up one of his big leaps and you can see how the HUD gives you some ability to aim its direction. Then boom, he leaps across the map and knocks Namor right out of the sky and starts wailing on him. He even gives him a little thunderclap before throwing a little green energy up to Iron Man hovering in the sky. Maybe a little extra gamma radiation perhaps? Ooh. Either way, this powers up Tony and activates a team up. These unique team up combinations give you tons of surprising combo options with your heroes, unlocking new tactics and strategies the more you play. Iron Man takes his excess energy to supercharge his repulsor blast with a little nanotech. He tries to fry that little rocket raccoon who scurries up a statue that Tony totally annihilates. The environments in this game are interactive and destructible, which adds to your team's tactical options. Iron Man zaps the little raccoon who falls down to the heroes battling below as Tony quips. I hope Friday got that on video. Friday stands for Female Replacement Intelligent Digital Assistant Youth and is an AI Tony Stark created and we've seen in Marvel Comics and several Marvel Studios films. I'm opening a portal. Together! Drown them! I'm everywhere. Your powers are mine! Doctor Strange opens up a portal for Penny Parker and Spider-Man to jump through, and how fun is that? They leap through the portal into some action at a different part of the map. On the back wall, you can see a mural with Surtur, most likely depicting the events of Ragnarok. Spider-Man blasts webs all over the place as Magic, Loki, Rocket, and Gru all battle it out. Everyone gets webbed up, he picks up the double shot, a column is destroyed, and Loki's illusion magic changes the mural of Surtur on the back wall to one of Loki, presumably stopping Surtur, or at least standing up to him. And what a silly Loki for even thinking of doing that. Next, we see Luna Snow, 
Crow using her ice powers to skate around the map like a speedster. Through the ground, you can see Groot is highlighted, probably giving you the ability to see where your teammates are when in battle. From a strategic position, Luna helps power up her teammates Groot and Namor. They're taking on Doctor Strange, Black Panther, and Iron Man, and Namor, being the Scourge of the Seven Seas, is able to utilize some of his octopus friends in battle, and the team of activation with Luna Snow means they get the benefit of her ice powers. Next, we see Loki with his golden horns and fur-lined green cape cast an illusion of himself that he appears to swap positions with, and you just know that being able to do that is surely going to get on the other player's nerves. Then, the God of Mischief is able to take form of other heroes and even use their powers. He becomes Black Panther, kicks a mass, and then calls on the powers of Bast to knock down a bridge. Is Loki OP? You can see on the right side of the HUD that he scored a three fur, so he's clearly dominating at this moment. I got you! Behold! Dark Child! Next, we get to see Magic swinging around that big old soul sword, knocking Penny Parker into the air. Magic then taps into her dark side to transform into Dark Child, and oh my god, does she look so powerful. Then we jump over to another side of battle to see the first team up that I am clearly going to do, and it's Rocket and Groot. And what more classic combination is there? Rocket hops on Groot's shoulders as he uses his branches to wrap up Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, Penny Parker, and Black Panther into a tight cluster. Then Rocket hits him with a giant blast, knocking them out and totally destroying this giant golden Loki statue, and it's game over, baby. Maximum! We get another good look at some of these incredible character designs in a classic video game pose. Iron Man charging up his repulsors, Penny Parker in her mech spider suit, Hulk beating Loki to a pulp, and where have I seen that before? Doctor Strange using his mastery of sorcery to unleash the incredible power of the Eye of Agamotto, an item we've seen before in Marvel Studios films. Luna Snow putting on a show with her ice powers, Magic, Namor, Rocket Raccoon, Black Panther, Loki, Spider-Man, they all just look awesome. You're the winner! Perhaps we get one of the craziest things I've seen in this game so far. We see our victorious team and then rising up, it's not Galactus, but his daughter that comes into frame. That's right, it's Galacta, the teenage daughter of Galactus, also known as Gally. She first appeared in Marvel Comics, Assistant Size Spectacular number two. She has a lot of the same powers as her father, but does a better job of controlling the world eating impulses that plague dear old dad. And maybe that's why she's here, hosting these Marvel rivals battles instead of chowing down on some planets. Then we get a shot of some other playable characters in this game, including Storm. Magneto, Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord, Mantis, Punisher, and Scarlet Witch. Marvel Rivals will allow you to play on teams of six in a competitive third-person shooter-style battle. There are characters from across Marvel IP and teams like the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Avengers, and even X-Men. They come bursting through some glass into a map. Judging by the building in the background with the Alchemex logo and Japanese-style elements, this is probably hinting a new map that is set in Japan. Alchemex was the company that made that spider that bit Miles Morales in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, but is also a huge company in Spider-Man 2099 comics. So this this game definitely has references to storylines we've seen in the movies and comics. This map probably exists on the 2099 timeline given its futuristic appearance. And that's it for our first look at the trailer for Marvel Rivals, the ultimate superhero team based PvP shooter. I'm really excited to try out this game. It has some interesting design and brings a fresh style of gameplay to the hero shooter games. A fun way to explore who really heals and who really tanks in Marvel. And I can't wait to play as some of my favorite characters and see what crazy combos I can come up with and how many Loki statues I can destroy. I truly, I do, I do, Jessica Clemens. I love shooter games. Truthfully, I play them every day after work with my friends because it's the best way to stay connected with all my friends around the world. And now I can finally share the lore of Marvel and our favorite games and just play them with them and they'll understand what I'm talking about now. So don't wait, click the link in the description and pin comment and sign up for their first alpha test with me and let's ignite the battle. Thanks again to Marvel Rivals for letting me break down this trailer and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Lulu underscore Clemens and subscribe to all of our channels and the new Rockstars Network for all that deep analysis that you guys can't get enough of and I'll see you later.